Have you ever wondered why some people just seem to click with everyone they meet? It's not magic, it's the art of reading people. This skill, when mastered, can enhance our communication, build stronger relationships, and create a positive impact on our personal and professional life. Today, we're going to explore this fascinating concept through the lens of the book, Rapport, The Four Ways to Read People. If you're intrigued about learning this skill, stick around as we delve into 15 lessons from this insightful book. Ready to unlock the secrets of reading people? Here are the first five lessons. Lesson 1. The Power of Observation This is the cornerstone of all human interactions. By observing body language, tone of voice, and facial expressions, we can gain insights into people's emotions and thoughts. Lesson 2. The Importance of Empathy Understanding others' feelings and viewpoints is key to building strong relationships and resolving conflicts. Lesson 3. The Role of Active Listening This is more than just hearing words. It's about understanding the message behind them and showing the speaker that you value their thoughts. Lesson 4. The Art of Nonverbal Communication Our body language, gestures, and facial expressions often speak louder than words. Lesson 5. The value of open-ended questions. These invite detailed responses and encourage deeper conversation, allowing us to understand others better. These were the first five lessons, but hold on, there's more to come. Let's continue our journey with the next five lessons. Lesson six is about understanding body language. It's the unspoken communication that can tell a lot about a person. The seventh lesson is about the importance of active listening. Truly hearing what someone is saying can strengthen your connection with them. Moving on to lesson eight, it's about empathy. Being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes can build rapport quickly. Lesson nine emphasizes on the power of positive reinforcement. A simple compliment can go a long way in establishing a strong bond. Finally, lesson 10 teaches us about the importance of common ground. Finding shared interests or experiences can help create a deep connection. Remember, these lessons are not just about reading people, but also about building lasting relationships. That's 10 lessons down, 5 more to go. Stay tuned. Now, let's wrap up with the final 5 lessons. Lesson 11 emphasizes the importance of understanding cultural differences in communication. It's not just about the words spoken, but the context in which they're said. Moving on to lesson 12, it's all about body language. A person's posture, gestures, and facial expressions can reveal more than their words often do. Next, lesson 13 highlights the power of empathy in reading people. Stepping into someone else's shoes can greatly enhance our understanding of their thoughts and feelings. Lesson 14 encourages us to keep an open mind. Judging too quickly can cloud our ability to read people accurately. Finally, Lesson 15 reminds us that reading people isn't a one-way street, it requires active listening and engagement. And there we have it, 15 lessons on how to read people. But remember, practice makes perfect. Mastering the art of reading people is no small feat, but with these 15 lessons, you're off to a great start. Remember, understanding others is a skill that can open doors, foster connections, and elevate your interactions. Practice these lessons day by day in every conversation. The power of reading people is truly transformative. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to dive deeper, check out Rapport, the four ways to read people. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.